Ars Nova was my first job in New York City. I think it's an oasis for artists that are moving to New York and don't really know where there's a spot for them to find their voice. There are a lot of comedians and performers like me who didn't quite fit in the box anywhere else. For a lot of us, it's where we felt most at home. Ars Nova has given us a space to work out the most true version of our art. Like they encourage you to go down the paths that are the most scary to you. You can come to them with the craziest idea. If there's something really interesting and new and fresh about that, Ars Nova will scoop it up and give it a launching pad for the world. Ars Nova feels like not only a home, but an artistic base for me. They were the ones who said, I think what you're doing is beyond how you're defining it. Here's a space where you can step outside of that. Without Ars Nova's belief in that tiny little seed of an idea, I would you know, probably still be working at a record store somewhere. One of the things that makes Ars Nova really unique is its uh, appreciation and acknowledgement always of the audience. You'll never see a show there where the audience isn't considered from moment one. It's a joyous place to walk into. There's music and, and drama and everything that you can imagine. Everyone's sort of there for an experience. Maybe not sure what they're seeing, but is buckled in and ready for a ride. It's just always, coming from a genuine curiosity of like, what are they gonna do next and how are they gonna pull it off? I think if there were no Ars Nova, New York would be really screwed. Ars Nova is a vending machine with your dreams. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>